God, for real, cuz. And like, and like, I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart, cuz, that Jesus Christ was a crib, cuz. I believe he was a crib, cuz. Like, a lot of niggas gonna call me crazy, cuz. Like, nah, Chris wasn't around back then, nah, cuz. Jesus Christ was the first crib, cuz. I just felt that I was praying one day. I was meditating. And I just heard the voice of the Lord, cuz. It just rained down on me. It said, cuz. You are blessed, cuz. Rejoice, cuz. For Jesus Christ, Lord, is with you at all times, cuz. And I woke up. I saw blue light everywhere, cuz. And at that moment, I knew I was meant to be a crip. I was born into this shit, cuz. Hey, I'll kill the devil, cuz. On my mama, cuz. I got hands for the devil, cuz. Ew. I'll kill you, devil. On the hood, I'll kill you, cuz. On the dead lungs, I'll kill you, devil, cuz. Hey. Hey. On my mama, I'll kill the devil, cuz. Demons come see me in the streets, cuz. It's whatever, cuz. On sight, it's whatever, cuz. You know who Jesus healed, cuz? The cripples. What is that short for? Crips, you feel me? We anointed, cuz. On my mama, I got hands. Shalom, Kalai Hawa, Bahashem, Yawashai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect who are the house of David reborn again in this generation. And Shalom to the 130 Yasharala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as and still are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about those videos that I put in front of this uh, clip real quick. Now, <laughs> I can definitely tell you, man, the Lord was not a crip or a blood or a gangster. All of those <laughs> statements are hella off, man. You see, there's a scripture that we're going to read right here, Matthew 15 and 8, that explains, you know... The Messiah himself said this, man, that explains what's going on in, in these clips. This is Matthew 15 and 8. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth the man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth the man. You see, those people there that you've just seen a video of, man, you know, they're Israelites, right? They are the Israelites of the Holy Bible. However, they are in what is known as a Gentile state. So when the Bible says, uh, that the uh, you know the Jews and the Gentiles, the Gentiles that it's referring to are those people, man. Those are the Israelites who forgot that they were Israelites, and they are now calling themselves American, Mexicans, Black, and and you know what other you know you know slur name uh, you know they have put upon us, right? And as it tells you here, man, right? These people. You know, they honor the Lord with their lips, right? But they're doing it through the doctrines of men, right? Things that these people have learned in their churches, man. And these churches, man, all you Akim and Akwathim out there, you know, these churches are way off, man. And if you've just come upon this video, these churches are, are whorehouses, man. They are full of lies and, and deception. Right? And they've misled our people, right? Some, most of them knowingly, some of them unknowingly, okay? And they've done it for multiple reasons. Money, mostly. Power is another reason, right? Uh, you know, tons of reasons. Uh, you know, um, what's the other thing that they, 
the word I'm looking for, man. Uh, tradition. There you go. Tradition, right? Like it tells you here, man. The the doctrines of men are the are the religions that have come up throughout history that have tried to replace the heritage of the Israelites, right? Negro, Latino, Native Indians, right? You see, because what the Bible actually is, it's not a book of religion, right? It is simply a book that was written by, for, and to the Negro, Latino, Native Indians, right? The Israelites, right? And it's a book of our history, our heritage, our laws, and the commandments which our ancient, you know, forefathers gave us to follow, right? Those forefathers just happen to be, you know, the prophets and the kings uh, written in the Bible, right? That's who we are. We are those people, right? And this is why you see such a, a, a deep love for the Lord in our people, even though, uh, like these examples I just showed you, like they are way off, man. They're, they're almost, they're pretty much blasphemous, right? When you, when you get into it, man. But, you know, these people, they don't know any better, right? But unfortunately, it's, you know, the Lord doesn't care, right? He's going to destroy these people because unless, you know, they repent, right? This is Romans 10 and 2. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge, right? And and what is that knowledge that they, these people do not have? Well, it's the, it's the fear of the Lord, Right? The fear of the Lord is the, is the wisdom of the Bible, the truth, the knowledge that is found within the Bible. Right? If these people understood the, the, the truth of the Bible, if they actually feared the Lord, right, because they would actually know Him, they would know, man, that He isn't about them jumping around on the streets, saying such horrible, blasphemous things like He was a crypt. Right, that that what what did that one first clip say, man? After I killed my first enemy, Christ was st uh, Jesus. Christ was still with me. <laughs> man, these people are, are 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 extremely lost, man. They are in deep darkness, right? Gross darkness, as the as the scriptures say, man. Right. And the thing is. reason why these people are like this man is because you see we Israelites the Negro Latino Native Indian we are coming out of a spiritual time out right we have been punished as it tells you in Deuteronomy uh, 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 chapter 28 right it tells you about the curses that would fall upon our people if we went away from from righteously worshiping the Lord which we did unfortunately right but we had to we had to have a falling away for prophecy to be fulfilled right now in that falling away the things that have helped to keep us in that fallen fallen state in this state of spiritual debauchery in in folly like you just see is, is because of what it tells you here in this scripture. This is Titus 1 and 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, right? So you have a lot of our people, a lot of the Negro, Latino, and Native Indians out there, man, who are vain talkers, right? People out there, you know, you, you, you've seen all, you've all seen the videos, man, that are posted online about these silly freaking Christians, these silly Catholics, all these silly religious people that, you know, get filmed at church doing some cr crazy ass things, man, from twerking for Christ, cripping for Christ, you know, freaking, you know, stripping for Christ. Man, I even remember seeing a, 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 an ex-hooker with literally her nipples falling out of her, her, her bra, man, you know, uh, uh, preaching for Christ, man. You know, our people are, are destroyed, man. They're, they are absolutely destroyed, right? And it's because of people like this, because of the many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, right? All of these preach, preachers and people out there who are quick to open up a 501c3k, or oh, I'm sorry, 501c3 uh, nonprofit organizational church, so that way they can 
start writing uh, things off tax-free, start, you know, buying their cars and their houses and all these things without having to pay taxes, man. Just so that way they could they could uh, make a, a business out of this, man. But what did the Lord do to those people uh, in the temple who had made a business, uh, a market out of, out of this truth, man? He overthrew their tables, right? And scattered their money, right? And that's ultimately what's happening right now to, to a lot of these churches out there, man. A lot of people are, are no longer going to these churches, man. A lot of people are starting to see how uh, um, horrible things are, man, in these churches, man. They're starting to see people out there. You know, I have not come across one person, man, even people who, who would consider themselves religious, right? I've not come across one that says that church is a good thing, right? Everybody just kind of accepts church for being what it is, right? Even though some of the people who go to church you know, they even admit that church is, 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 a, is a corrupted place, right? Let's continue. Verse 11, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake, right? And lucre is basically money gotten by ill means, man, right? This is verse 12. One of, one of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said the Cretans are always liars evil beasts and slow slow bellies this witness is true wherefore rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith right and this is ultimately man this is why you see the men at great millstone man when we see the, these pastors make horrible freaking claims people who are seen as spiritual leaders like uh What's that one guy with the caterpillar eyebrows, man? Steve Harvey, saying that there's multiple ways to Christ, right? He's all pushing that Islamist bullshit, right? We rebuke his ass, man. We rebuke these other uh, uh, Israelite schools, man, that are going off, right? When they say you could do all these horrible things, that you could do things that the Bible clearly tells you you're not supposed to be doing, man, right? Because we are rebuking them sharply, man, because one, we want to, you know, Lord willing, we want to be those prophets found with no guile in our in our mouth, man. All right? And the thing is, is we're not trying to mislead anybody, man. We're simply, you, you know who, who Great Millstone is? Great Millstone, we are those guys who wanted to find out the truth for ourselves. And when we got there and we found out the truth, we were the ones who didn't try to make money off of it, who didn't, you know, learn the truth and said, how can I profit off of this? We were the ones who said, Wow, this is amazing. Let us let us tell everybody, you know, what the truth is, right? And over time, man, we've just, you know, we've gotten the, the way we we are are noted for, because you know people just don't listen, man. They think, you know, because you have all these other uh, Israelite groups out there that you know, one, that we're all supposed to get along, you know, they, they start you know saying horrible shit, man, things that aren't true. And, we're, and honestly, man, we're just getting getting tired. Of, of having to deal with these the, the, these people who continue to keep coming out of the woodworks, man. Not we're not getting tired of, of preaching the, the gospel, man. We love the gospel, right? But we're but you know but the thing is, man, it's tedious when you have to repeat the same thing over and over again, man. These little demons that come out of the woodwork, man, right? Mark my words, man. There's gonna be in a couple of months, weeks, there's gonna be people coming out bringing up all the old freaking arguments again, man. The Arabs are Esau. The, the 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 Israelites are only black only, right? Uh, what else is it? The RFID chip is not the mark of the beast. The uh, you know uh, sex is not marriage. All this bullshit. All these retarded ass you know arguments, man, that have been beaten, <laughs> which are like a dead horse being beaten, man. You know. But the thing is, is we're you know because you know we we are standing strong, man. We are we are declaring the truth. We're, we're you're gonna continue to hear us. Uh, defend these truths, man, because you got, because you're, we're fighting against people like this, man. People like this guy here, man, who is, who is out there, you know, making, you know, trying to become famous now, man, <laughs> showing up in freaking movie, you know, videos. <laughs> against demons like this man people who uh, who who are doing what they think is right right that which are basically just you know selling out short man gonna be ultimately not leaving this world man 
right? They, they, they got the zeal, but, but they've said, you know what, that's enough. <laughs> you know, I don't need to actually read the Bible to, to know God, right? This is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of Yahweh Bashimashai, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth, whereunto he called you by our gospel for obtaining of the glory of our Lord, Yahweh the Mashiach, right? And ultimately, man, for you Akim and Akwathim out there who can see the folly in this, who are actually following these videos, you know, I commend you, you know, keeping the faith, man. You know, it's beautiful that, that, that so many people actually are waking up, even though it's vexing to see that a lot of our people are, are still stuck in this folly. And you know these people here, man, the people in the video have all been told about the Hebrew Israelites, man, but they're so stuck in their delusion, that, that strong delusion, as it tells you here, that, you know, that, you know, because of fame, because of, you know, that, uh, that, uh, you know, them hopping around and doing the same played out whack ass fucking dance moves that, that somehow, uh, uh, you know, stars, you know, it, it makes them famous. All right, you see, you are, are, are have been selected as it tells you here, man. If you continue in this faith, if you you know, for those who are out there who are sincere and are, are you know not here for the fancy garments, the lamb dinners, as Apostle Tarr says, man. If you're here because you really want to actually please the Lord and you want to follow what He says, man, you know, you know, brakatha unto you, you know, may the Most High bless you and your family, man. So, I just wanted to show this document. We wanted to read these precepts and show you, man, that, you know, though one third of us are going to be saved, that there's still two thirds of our people out there, man, who are going to be destroyed. And a lot of those are going to be people who would be considered people of God in this world, man. Right? So, with all that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Rukhak Kodash, double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.